Welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity Upper in Corner. We have Zeke starting as the White Zerg. And this is, again, like top-level BSL players. A lot of players from North America, actually, in the latter tour. I'm wondering if this was just... I don't know. Anyway, bottom left-hand corner, we have Gypsy starting as the Brown Terran. I'm not sure what the logic of the players that were in this, because Terra's here. I'm wondering if it's like a North-South America thing. Um, wondering if... I know they did like a team battle thing later on. I think this was actually just a straight-up ladder. And I'm wondering how they does, maybe it was availability because I didn't, I'm not sure if Bonneth is in this grouping um, or not. So maybe I should talk to ZZ. By the way, everyone check out ZZ0PL and subscribe if you haven't already. That is the main BSL channel where you can check out the Pro League and Gosu League uh, replays when they happen. Also check out Veer. He does all, Veer is the other guy who will oftentimes, if you want to see like Chobo League and Hasu League action before uh, me, he also does commentating their LML. <clears throat> Man, got some stuff. The Grimes, as Eski described it, that actually pulled me out of the previous. Anyway, looks like we are seeing, wow, really early Drone Scout. So Drone Scout on nine. What is this? I don't know what's going on here. This is very unusual for a Zerg player to do, to scout on nine and not build anything else. So it looks like it might be a nine, a nine hatch. This is some form of interesting cheese, I think. So Overlord is moving out. This is a very early scout. Uh, and I take it back. There was an Overlord in production, so it's not like crazy. It's just uh, wants to maybe get the scout in. So he's going to go ahead and push in, get initial damage on that SCV. That's definitely going to delay this barracks right off the bat. Second SCV is coming off the line. Third SCV is coming off the line with some repair. And addition, wow, this is actually beneficial. So because of the harassment that was accomplished there, that drone's still trying to find a way across. Good job on Gypsy doing some blockade and actually getting a lot of damage done with it. <clears throat> wants to go ahead and sneak in to see what's there. Only four health left, so it looks like that drone is going to have to pull back. But that, as far as mining time versus mining time... Oh, and the drone still gets through. Is he going to go... Yeah, okay, so he's going to extract your trick. So that's basically spending minerals to get a full health drone back. Cute little play right there from Zeke. So he's going to go ahead and sneak in, get a good look, sees a lack of gas here which is a huge amount of information. So he knows the command center is coming up to follow, just trying to get additional disruption and doing a good job. In the meantime, Gypsy going ahead and finding the 12th hatch opposite side. Looks like spawning pool is up, extractor up as well. And again, another extractor trick. So Ziki putting in the minerals early to go ahead and allow this drone to sit around and just be a nuisance. First Marine in production. Looks like he's gonna go ahead once that first Marine is there, pull out. He did see that there was a command center first overall. Opposite corner of the map, Gypsy going to go ahead and snee, first of all, seeing the gas in production, seeing that spawning pool, and also seeing a lack of eggs on the front. So he knows that he's not going up against an all-in Zergling play as far as a follow-up. It looks like he's going to go ahead and just seal this off with Supply Depot. The typical thing that Gypsy likes to do on this map in particular that we've seen is go ahead and get that engineering bay and get the plus one weapons to deal with that standard two hatch muta into third hatch play. And he just executes it very, very well. It looks like I'm going to go ahead and plop this down. He likes hiding it in this corner, maybe for the... <laughs> so hiding it in the bottom left. So there's the engineering bay underneath the minimap. I actually wonder how much that ends up being a factor in actual gameplay, where your minimap's here, and then you're like looking in the base, and you're like, wait, what is it? Anyway. <clears throat> Zerglings. Stinging across the map. I'm sure it's not a, a full factor here. Zergling speed is being upgraded. We do see a morph 2 layer. Gypsy's going to go ahead and see that timing. And actually, it looks like that Zergling, uh, interesting enough, Ziki, so oftentimes we'll see Zerg players move out a drone scout at this stage, or not a drone scout, a, dr a drone to go ahead and get in position to take the third. He is actually delaying a little bit back, I think. I believe that's the timing of this. Bunch of additional Marines on the front. Weapons one, starting to upgrade. Lair is finished. And we're going to see the Spire plopped. So Gypsy going to go ahead and get full eyes on that timing. There's the Academy behind. So everything looking standard from him. The rest of the Zergling is going to go ahead and peel up. Now that SEV has been taken care of. But Ziki grabbing a second gas. And it looks like this is just going to be straight. I think this might just be straight to Hatch Mutalisk play. We'll see. It is possible that on kind of a delayed timing, he's going to go ahead and send that additional drone out to grab a third base. And he's going to do in-base third hatchery, it looks like. But I think what he's going to do is just go straight Mutalisk and try to wipe Gypsy out that way. And unfortunately, with the plus one weapons, 
I'm not sure if that's going to pay out. Usually the way to punish this, or usually what can be punishing, at least I have not seen Gypsy lose this matchup when he's gone for that plus one weapons. His anti mutilist play is just fantastic. Uh, can oftentimes get that big threat. And it, with Seeky not grabbing a third to go ahead and get that, three ga that third gas, he's going to have a great amount of difficulty once Gypsy establishes map control, which often more, happens more often than not when he goes for this plus one build. To go ahead and find a, a way to get a drone out there to get a third base. So I take it back. He's going to go ahead and go for, I guess this is going to be the fourth hatchery. So the fourth hatchery going to be plopped down at the one o'clock location. This is certainly, uh, this is more of a new build. I haven't seen it just yet. So third hatchery is going to be in base. Fourth hatchery at the 12 o'clock location, or at the one o'clock location. That's going to make the drone count a little bit lower overall. Because a lot more minerals have gone, because he's still trying to keep the same amount of mutalisk. But that means it's just going to be fewer drones towards the early game. Some turrets already in place. We got two turrets of the natural expansion, one there and a third kind of over that ramp to go ahead and protect both the barracks <clears throat> the location. It looks like Zeke now moving out with his mutalisks, but it's only going to be moments before level one weapon and range are finished. And we do have four barracks pumping Marines at this stage. Comsat plopping out for Gypsy. He's gone ahead and scanned both the main and the natural expansion. He does see that second gas. Also sees the Evolution Chamber in Hydralis Den, so it looks like Ziki is going to try to peel back towards Lurkers. I'm, I'm interested to see how delayed the Lurkers are comparatively. With these Marines and Medics moving out, Ziki pushing into that natural expansion. There are three turrets there. Pretty good micromanagement, actually. I'm actually wondering what the lag was like at position, but Gypsy just run. Well, he's like, okay, you're going to go ahead and harass that with the three turrets there? I'm just going to push forward on the map. Ziki pushing across, trying to find some stragglers, not quite able to do so. Pretty good job of staying on the corner of the range of mutal. Just really good job staying on the corner of the range of the Marines to not eat more damage than he needed to. 12 o'clock base does not have that third gas established yet, but keep in mind there is that second gas at natural expansion a little bit earlier. Forcing a stim right there, Gypsy continuing to move forward. Z seeding a lot of ground here, and there's looks like only a single sunken colony about halfway finished. More mutalists are grouping up to try to engage. It looks like one of them taking a little bit of free damage as it's pressing across. Is Gypsy going to go for it? One mule is getting picked off immediately. See, he can't let these, yeah, Medic Marines stand in this position. So expending a handful of mutalisks. Nice damage there on... Ooh, another mule is getting picked off. And this is, again, where Gypsy just able to wipe a lot of this off. And he's going to force a lot of economic commitment on Siki's side to this. Six mutalisks versus what's left of the Medic Marines. Another grouping trying to peel up and regather. This is honestly small enough that in a close enough reinforcement point, Ziki actually splitting off the weak mulesk as well. Looks like he uh, is going to wipe out these medic marines. So Gypsy may be overextending a little bit. Zerglings out on the field with additional mulesk, and that's going to allow, that's a little bit unfortunate because now that's going to allow Ziki, without feeling that threat or pressure, to go ahead and drone up, and he is starting to plop down additional drones. In the meantime, Gypsy has fielded another sizable group of Medic Marines. Is starting to regather. He's got double starport in production, and a factory going ahead and floating out. And it looks like another nine mutalists are going to be fielded, and I'm wondering if Siki's going to go ahead and skip. He does have the Hydrals done, down, keep in mind, but I don't see any lurkers out here. So it looks like he's going to try to get it done with Mutalisks alone. There is a single Sultan colony here at the 12 o'clock base. Some Zerglings as well. If you can skip Lurker, that's a lot of gas you can save. But the thing is, is committing to more Mutalisks rather than Lurker. One Irradiate kills a slew of Mutalisks where you need the individual Irradiates to deal with the Lurkers. So let's see if... And I've seen a lot of Zerg try to pull this in this current meta is try to find ways to save gas. And oftentimes that has been at the cost of Lurkers in the mid-game. Queen's Nest, the natural expansion... To go ahead and push towards Hive. Ziki finding some Marines stranded away from those medics and able to pick off a handful of them while they're weakened and unrecharged and kind of like walking and not uh, charged up. Starport actually up before, a little bit before the science facility was in play. So a little bit of a delay. I'm wondering if that was a mistake on Gypsy's part. And this is creating a bit of a delay on those science vessels. He does have level 1 armor coming online momentarily, but he really wanted those science vessels out to deal with these mutalisks. And this is actually going to make that lurker, the fact that he, and I don't, and I, I'm almost kind of playing, I'm wondering if I'm missing something here with this overall play, because the, I don't think so. I think he just missed something 
uh, there. Maybe you just missed the science facility. Maybe it didn't build in the background, which is unfortunate because that's going to allow these mutalisks to do even more damage in the mid game. Another grouping of medic marines getting wiped out. More marines pushing up. The medic's just going to go from one group to another. But that's eight mutalisks going to go ahead and back off. But that's going to allow those mutalisks to be more effective for a longer period of time. Now we're seeing some lurkers morphed with the natural expansion. The hive is just about finished. So Zeke, he does have his three gas. Starting to harass the main now with those medic marines out of position. He's actually on top of the science facility. Is he going to be able to pick off these science vessels? Certainly able to get some additional SCV kills. And finding the timing to go ahead and press in and get additional damage done. Additional science vessels being fielded. Lurkers starting to move out. Nidus Canal to go ahead and funnel troops back and forth. And additional hatcheries being planted down. Ultralis Cavern also on the way. Carapace 1 will finish. Gypsy is sitting at 1-1. Will be a little while. He's going ahead and building an additional command center to get a third base. Trying to press forward and get some map control and maybe get some, drop some irradiates on this front door. Nothing to irradiate in the form of defilers there yet. Kind of what, wondering what happened to those lurkers. Here are the lurkers. Grouping up. Science vessels exposed. One of them taken out. Marines getting picked off as well. There's the irradiate finally. Mutalisk peeled off. It looks like, yeah, that's going to cost its life. But able to get a slew of Medic Marines. See, he actually fielding the, uh, very brave. Going with the Lurkers out in open field. Going to lose this Overlord forward. But Gypsy is staying on top of his macro. See, he grabbing a base in the upper left-hand corner. Some Zerglings flooding through. I think they want to go ahead and, well, they're going to be able to pick off these, medic, uh, these Medics that have been stranded. In the bottom right-hand corner, some Marines pushing in. But the Mutalisks, ooh. We're diving in. Are they going to be able to get the grouping here? I don't think Adrenal up Upgrade is there just yet. And keep in mind, these are they, level 1 Carapace has clicked in. So these Zerglings and also those Medics just don't want to do their job. Not there to get anything. Not there with the, the Marines getting split from them. Another grouping. Looks like it wants to go ahead and take a shot at that 12 o'clock base with those Lurkers out of position. Some Irradiates being dropped on those Lurkers. These Science Vessels being unmolested, undeterred. The Filer... Ooh, some medics getting caught on that low ramp and getting wiped out. Some Zerglings also camping near this base to go ahead and intercept. Nice timing on Ziki's part. To go ahead and intercept this command center. Not going to allow it to drop. The That's going to force the medic marines back and buy more time for Ziki to go ahead and build that gas count. Second evolution chamber dropping. Defiler mound with plague uh, dropping. And oftentimes with plague, I'm wondering if he's going to go ahead and go for Hydra Plague as a switch. We've seen that. Plague with the also just works fantastically against medic marine groupings uh, with the Zergling, if you want to go more Zergling heavy in, mid, uh, in the mid game. Sorry, that is not, that's not Plague, that's Consume, isn't it? No, that's Plague. Yeah, okay, I was right. I saw it right. So we'll see how effective Ziki is with the Plague. The one thing with the Plague is you need to be careful that you're not hitting your own units. Some Scourge, finding some Science Vessels. The Science Vessels is going ahead and backing out. And I like that there's just kind of this patch of Zerglings down there in case some medic marines were moving that direction. It looks like the hatchery in the bottom right is going to get wiped out. Wasn't mining just yet, but that's going to be a sack 300 resources. Some Scourge dying midfield trying to find science vessels. Here's the thing, though. Those science vessels are have not... Ooh, nice irradiate on that defiler. Those science vessels, just as I was about to say, they haven't been able to drop a lot of irradiates and get a lot of those key units that they probably wanted to. The Zerglings peeling in underneath, trapping the medic marines here, dropping a nice swarm... Ultralisks are now starting to see the field, and it looks like Ziki is taking control of this match. Big group of science vessels, but mostly Zerglings, Zerglings starting to field out underneath. Level 2 Carapace is going to be done in not too long. The bottom right-hand base was taken out. Upper left-hand base has not, and I'm wondering if that's going to start supplying momentarily. And Ziki's done a fantastic job of just forcing Gypsy back into his front. Some fire bats joining the fray to make that to try to negate some of that Dark Swarm. Gypsy still ahead overall in supply, but the Ultralisks now taking the field. Speed is going to be there in not too long. They do have that level 3 Carapace. Level 4 Carapace is going to be there momentarily. Gypsy has managed to go ahead and get that 9 o'clock base up. As far as the upgrades, he's just now, oof, he's just now starting level 2 weapons, level 2 armor though. And against Ultralisks that have level 4 Carapace, they are going to be very beefy and difficult to deal with. 
Lurkers are there. It looks like Zeke going to go ahead and try to retake that bottom right-hand corner. Gypsy moving with a huge army to the upper left. There's no Nidus Canal here to protect this double gas expansion. Zeke doesn't have a huge amount of ground forces that I see to go for a good counterattack otherwise. Science Vessel's moving up. It looks like he is going to go ahead and go for a counter with a handful of Zerglings and Ultralisks into that natural expansion, however. Might be able to get something accomplished there. There's a lot of Lurkers to deal with, but Zeke, yeah, he's like, okay, you go ahead and attack there. We're just going to go ahead and do a base trade. So the Ultralisks and Zerglings, a handful of them able to go ahead and get up on top of that barracks. And just flooding through. Gypsy splitting off some fire bats and marines to go ahead and deal with this. The rest of the medic marines peeling back. Are they going to go? Yeah, they're going to go ahead and try to re redefend the main. Now that that upper left hand base has been taken out, Gypsy trying to get back down here and deal with this. Now, the question is, is how much infrastructure can Zeke take out? How much can he disrupt before Gypsy gets the rest of his reinforcements back to home base? Because he did end up losing that base in that upper left hand corner. Mulus gathers well trying to do what they can sevs look like they're going to go ahead and retreat and they're going to evacuate to that upper left hand corner no barracks has been taken out so even though this is like death and destruction absolutely everywhere it looks like gypsy is going to actually provide is going to be able to execute a nice defense and on top of that he was able to take out that upper left hand base which was critical so the ultralisks are down this is also buying gypsy some time to go ahead and get those additional upgrades in play so making a match of it and he's also keeping he's kept science vessel production up between all of this a plague dropped on those science vessels some zerglings are grouped up that forcing a lift off at the nine o'clock base they're coming back towards the main but gypsy's economy also disrupted so his main is mined out his natural expansion is somewhat thin he really needed that nine o'clock base up and, and producing and while this is happening see he's going to go ahead and re-grab that upper left hand corner so things kind of, I don't know, resetting, although I'm not sure whose favor it is at this stage. I kind of want to put it more in Zeke's favor just because he's got a lot of these holdings. He still has that Carapace upgrade that's continuing to grow. Starting to get level one weapons, and he's continuing to disrupt this nine o'clock base while going ahead and grabbing this upper left hand base in the bottom right hand corner. It looks like it's up and established as well. Gypsy gonna wants to try to swat that base down, but he can't swat that and keep this base up. That base taken out rather than being lifting off. SCV is going to get wiped out as well. Nidus Canal coming online. Does Zeke have the troops to kind of get through and defend it, though? Some drones coming, some Zerglings coming. Some more Ultralisks and Zerglings coming in to reinforce, to wipe the rest of that Medic Marine Force out. And now there's just Science Vessels overhead. A sizable fleet of them. But the Ultralisks with Radiate getting right on top of those Medic Marines and just obliterating them. Level 4 Carapace. Finally, level 2 weapons, level 2 armor coming online for Gypsy. Scourge wanting to get a kill, not quite able to do so. Double creep colony being dropped, more Zerglings being produced. Gypsy, is he going to be able to get this base? Another counterattack in the form. Well, the Zerglings getting wiped out before they even reach there. Dark Swarm being dropped, a drone being consumed. Some science vessels getting taken out by the Spore colony overhead, but it looks like these this bottom right hand corner is going to get disrupted. But here's the thing Gypsy is out of minerals. He does not have a natural expansion, nor, well, his main is just looking thin. And that's going to be GG. Ziki takes game one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Move on to game two momentarily. Thanks for listening.